Hey everybody, Austin here. Uh, I'm going to do another trade recap, this time um, on CIFS, a trade I did a couple days ago. And in conjunction with this uh, trade recap on C CIFS, I want to go over an issue that I've been kind of talking about in my last couple of videos regarding bias flipping. And you'll see why it's a good example um, when, when I go over my trade on it, on why I'm having a particularly difficult issue um, or uh, it's one of the things I'm trying to work on is being able to buy a slip and I want to go over some of the hurdles and and ideas I have regarding the topic so my trade on this uh, was um, n you know nothing nothing too good like nothing too bad it was just kind of mediocre uh, I, I made money in the in the beginning of the day small scalps and I and I just kind of gave it back here ended up uh, small red on the day after being small green on the day. So, you know, red to green is never good, but this wasn't that important of a trade considering it was a big chase. Like, I missed the first move. You know, the first, you know when this this popped up in the morning, I heard that a Furu had bought it, and and then it started to tank. I'm like, right here at the bottom at 150 is when I actually took it off my radar for something else. And then it just spiked the last next time I saw it, it was at 260. And then I kind of tried to make up a trade a little bit out of this. You know, this isn't the best um, overall, like, setup, you know, good setup, considering that, like, the big part of the move had just happened already. But I felt it might have a little bit more. Uh, I, I bought this little inflection point here where I felt the, the, t the tide had changed. <clears throat> Small size overall, um, given that, you know, this we're buying here at 270 when... It was just here at 150, but you know it. As expected, I didn't have a lot of conviction in this, and I was quick to exit. Uh, but then we came back, and I said, "Oh, let me try again." Got a little bit of a fat finger here. Wanted to buy over three. Ended up getting 310, <clears throat> and I added on the high of day break, which I don't often do. And you'll see here one thing I did <clears throat> is <clears throat> I I did buy over the high of day break, which I'm not normally comfortable with doing. But um, because you can see that I wasn't comfortable because this is an area where I consider there to be what I call dump risk. Now, if there's dump risk, uh, I'm very often like it's it very often has to work right away for me to be comfortable. And I, I this question actually got asked in the weekend mentoring uh, this last weekend. You know, like um, what do you like? what do you look for at high of day breaks or breakouts? And I'm like, you know what? I don't often buy high of day breakouts just because they're often stuffy. And the rare times that I do, um, if they don't erupt right away or if they don't just soar um, like immediately, I immediately get a little bit nervous and hesitant. Like I, I, I prematurely bias flipped here I wasn't able, like had I not shorted, I might have tried to long again here over 310 because this 290 fail to break down where I did short, you know, I thought this was the level to short because it failed. I would have said, hey, look at that. Now all the people who shorted over here or the people who were banking on this, you know, shorts that were banking on this to break down and then over here banking on it to break down, they're, they're not happy. You know, and so like I might have been able to put along here on this break of 310, but I was done. I was totally done. And so it might have cost me another long trade. Like I don't know what um, my mental, my mental, uh, where I would have been mentally had I not taken the short. I presume better. But um, I, I kind of want to go over this too. Um, had I... Um, so normally I, I talk about I want to see um, the level there I, that I would have stopped out at um, trigger first because I, I'm very often early or I used to be a very often all the time early. Now I miss more plays than I'm early, but my, my biggest fear is that I'm going to get in too early, get stopped out, and the trade's going to work in my favor. And so normally what I like to do is wait for these failed breakdowns or failed breakouts to short. And this is essentially um, where, like, I, I, I did stop out, where I would have stopped out, and then I would have been right if it continued to tank on me on, on the short. 
So for me, it's this is actually kind of like a failed breakout. Like everyone who this was a large volume candle, this four hundred thousand share candle. I'm sure a whole bunch of, um, you know, like people covered slash bought here. 